everyone, I'm here at Ginger Boutique in Winter Park, Florida, and in this economic downturn, this store is still thriving, so I want to know what her secret is. Let's go find out. Okay, so I'm here with Amy at Ginger Boutique. She's the owner, and I found out her secret. She uses social networking to get a lot of traffic into her store. So instead of it just being a brick and mortar building, she uses the internet to bring in a lot of her customers. So I'm obviously going to ask her, you know, how does she start that? Where does she go from square one? So if you don't mind explaining to me, you know, how do you go from a brick and mortar building to online? What are your first steps? Sure. Well, we have started uh, Spotlight on Beauty every Wednesday from noon to three. Our beauty consultant, Kimberly Corso, comes in and one of my interns or one of my employees will come in and we have her made over and then we pick out an outfit and jewelry to go along with the look and then we pop out front and take a few pictures, pop in the back, take a few pictures and then just put it together, drop it online and while Shanika's putting on her next outfit or our other model's putting on her next outfit, I'm up here getting everything ready for the blog. After Amy posts her blog, she also updates Twitter and her store's Facebook page using keywords. She gives me an example by using a designer dress from her store. So, once I upload the picture, I upload it to my blog and I start writing about it. And for instance, this dress by Envy is something that I'm working on right now. So we've uploaded it into the blog, we're typing in the keywords and keeping in mind designer names and topics. So, Dress by Envy would be a great title or Sporty Summer Dress by Envy. As soon as that's done, I post it to my Facebook fan page and then we post it to Twitter. And I've noticed on Twitter a great way to find followers is to find out what they're talking about. If they're mentioning this designer, then I, I send a tweet to them that repeats what I've just put on our Twitter page. So they get the idea of what we're talking about, they follow us, and then their followers also start to follow us. So it just kind of builds on itself. Which is really interesting. So Amy's going to give us one last piece of advice for business owners who are now using social networking. So what is that one tip? I'd say keep it real, otherwise your readers will see right through it. Alright, and one other thing, to get these two things, so can we go check out? Okay. Bye! <laughs>